Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm at the 2015 Outdoor Adventure Show with Mike Ramsey of Badger Paddles. Mike, we were chatting yesterday about a new whole, well, new process you're using to build some of your paddles, or all of them now. What is it? It's not all of them. We're actually still offering the classic paddles, so paddles that you've seen by Badger before uh, are still available in the way they were, and that's these paddles, and they're. Um, We've got a lot of people who really love them, but everybody's a little bit different. And the, one of the characteristics of our Badger Classics is it has a fairly uh, thin, round shaft. So people with smaller hands really like it. It has a smaller grip, um, but not everybody uh, has small hands and, a, and needs a small grip. So, so, so what did you change? Well, um, people asked us for a, a more stout grip and a, and a, a more stout shaft and a, and a bigger grip area. Um, we also wanted to play around and get a little bit, of, um, change the balance on the paddle a little bit and get a paddle with a little lighter swing weight. So um, People actually say this, like, Mike, ask, this is what we want. People tell me what they want all the time, and uh, when they ask enough, when enough people ask for it, you know, you might as well listen and try and give them what they want. So we changed our process. We actually had to change the way we build paddles to do the other. So this is a Badger Classic, still available. Uh, nothing's really changed on the Badger Classics, and you can still buy one of these from us. But now we have... Let's um, have a look at the new one. The new Badger Paddles. I'll put that back. Right here. So... Um, a uh, different process, carved on a carving duplicator instead of made on a, on a, on a uh, duplicator lathe. Um, uh, basically, w the result is that we have a paddle with a, a, a bigger shaft uh, for a guy with a bigger hand or somebody who just doesn't like to grip too much on a small paddle, uh, a larger grip. Uh, I'm sorry, larger shaft, bigger surface area on the grip, a little more rounded on the grip. We just listened to people's feedback and gave basically what they were wanting. Um, and you were saying yesterday it flexes in a different. Yeah, the, the blade flexes more than the shaft. Now, yeah, so having uh, you know having the thinner the thinner bl uh, shafted paddles, um, we uh, the, the the paddle tended to flex in the shaft area when you when you flexed it. Um, now, we've taken a bunch of, it's actually allowed us to get the weight down, you know, we, we've made this bigger, so we wanted to keep the weight down on the paddle, so I've taken a bunch of weight out of the blade of the paddle, so it has a, a, a almost, it still has that dihedral ridge that we've always done, but that ridge actually carries sort of through the middle of the whole paddle and gives it a, a backbone, a spine, and we've, we were able to take a bunch of the weight out of the sides of the paddle, so um, in this area there's a lot less. Uh, the result is um, a really nice swing weight, they swing well, the blade is not too heavy and they flex in the blade area. Um, same shape of paddles, this is a Badger Tripper, the, the paddle perimeter, the, the profile of it is the same. Uh, just uh, we just gave a bunch of people what they wanted, basically. Change is good, man. Yeah. Change is good. <laughs> Mike, and the pricing is the same? And when can people get them? Are these out in the stores now? The pricing did go up a little bit this year. Like We're uh, 139 on a cherry paddle with a paddle sock, and yet they're available right now. Swift has a whole rack of them here at the Outdoor Adventure Show, and they're, um, many of the dealers are already stocking the, the new Badger paddles. Great. If I was to uh, give you a call after the show, could you send us um, one to test out? Absolutely. Canoe yes. Great. Thank you, Mike. Enjoy the rest of the show. Scott McGregor here with Mike Ramsey at Badger Paddles at the Outdoor Adventure Show. I'm here for Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever.